What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Watch and Listen podcast. This is a podcast all about watches. I do this little show here with my friend Cameron Weiss, the CEO of the Weiss Watch Company and a master watchmaker. And he's got new watches that just came out. Uh, very cool limited edition stuff. So you want to go over to the Watch Weiss Watch Weiss Company, WeissWatchCompany.com, and check those out. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Crown & Caliber, the number one place to buy a secondhand luxury watch on the internet. And unless you're talking about a very, very select group of watches, you only want to buy a luxury watch secondhand on the internet, and only from a reputable place like Crown & Caliber. Buying watches online can be shady. You don't want to meet some dude off a of Craigslist. You don't want to get scared scammed by some scammer on eBay. Crown & Caliber is a legit operation that sells only authentic watches. Every photograph you see of a watch on Crown & Caliber is the actual watch they're selling. They don't use generic photographs. Uh, they will work with you. If you need more information, they will give you all the info they have, and they have a staff of technicians and watchmakers to make sure that the watch you buy works as advertised. Uh, use code WL. 150. That's WL150 to get $150 off your first watch purchase at Crown and Caliber, uh, courtesy of your friends at Watch and Listen. Code WL150, folks. Get that $150 off your first watch at Crown and Caliber from us. We are also brought to you by Beeline Coffee. Uh, the new my new blend, the the Roasted Tire 3.0, is out. It's got my uh, my Lamborghini on the bag. It is a beautiful Honduran blend. It absolutely tastes delicious. It's a it's a medium roast with medium body. It's got a bunch of caffeine in it. It's good in the morning. I've been drinking this stuff for the past few days, and I've really, really been into it. It's really delicious. Uh, use code CHRONO at BeelineCoffee.com. That's C-H-R-O-N-O, CHRONO, to get 15% off your entire order of Beeline Coffee from your friends at Watch and Listen. Code CHRONO at Beeline Coffee, uh, and that's for any order, big or small. Okay, on this episode of the Watch and Listen podcast, we have an interview uh, with the CEO of Panerai, Mr. Jean-Marc Pontrouet, and I'm sorry my French is terrible, <laughs> but Jean-Marc is, is really cool. He's a young, energetic guy. He's been with the Richemont Company uh, for 18 years years. He was formerly the CEO of Roger Dubuis. He's also worked at Mont Blanc. And so uh, we talk about the past, present, and future of the Panerai brand, uh, the boutiques, the sailing, um, all the good stuff, anything you've wanted to know about Panerai watches we cover. So here it is, Jean-Marc Pontrouet on the Watch and Listen podcast. Watch and listen podcast, folks. Welcome back to the studio. It is, uh, well, Cameron may have to get up and run away if, if Whitney goes into labor during this hour, but hopefully he can stick around. We're yep. excited. Black Cameron had a good Black Friday, sold a lot of watches. Yeah, very yeah, good. Buddy. Very good weekend. And uh, it's our privilege to uh, to welcome the CEO of Panerai, Mr. Uh, Jean-Marc Pontrouet. Nice. Did I get yeah, it? That's great. You have I'm, a wonderful French all right. accent. <laughs> all right. I'm just, I, I sound extra dumb because of my Seth Rogen voice. <laughs> <I'd say. laughs> welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Thank you. My privilege to be on. Uh, very honored to come here. Our friend uh, Adam Craniotis of Red Bar said, oh, you got to you got to talk to this guy. This is, Jean-Marc is the man. That's so, good. That's so good. thanks for joining us. No, no, um, my pleasure. Big year for Panerai? Y yes, yes. It's, uh, you know, I'm only CEO since now six months, but yeah. it's already my second time in LA in six months. That's good. So that's good. That's good. But you've been at Richemont for a long time, right? Yeah, since 18 years now. So uh, was it, I read, right, we were with Mont Blanc? With Mont Blanc. And Correct. with uh, Givenchy? Uh, Givenchy was before, before, before. Before, then Mont Blanc, then Roger Dubuis. And Roger Dubuis. And, and now Panerai. Roger Dubuis is an interesting... Uh, do they have a single watch that's like less than one hundred and fifty thousand dollars? What's the cheapest? Now, huh? Maybe now they what do. What is the cheapest Roger do we watch? The cheapest, I think, is about fifteen thousand dollars. Is it oh, okay? Yeah. Do they have but the exciting ones are in the region of eighty, seventy, eighty. Yeah, 000. like the super crazy Lamborghini watches. And Lamborghini and all is more stuff. expensive. Yeah, it's yeah. about two hundred thousand. I think they're more expensive. I went in the boutique in Beverly Hills. I think they're more expensive than actual Lamborghinis. 
Oh, they eat. It's some like, they I are. think a Huracan is cheaper yeah. than the Huracan yeah, 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 yeah. edition. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got a, a car is easy to build compared to a watch. Look at how small they are. I All know. These tiny That's little good. pieces. That's good. That's good. This guy ought to sell something about watches, I can tell you. He, well, Cameron, he, know, he knows a thing or two. He's yeah. been around. He makes, yeah. them, he makes he them all did. himself. Yeah, it's true. I've seen that on your internet site. Like, yeah. And good. I was with uh, with Vacheron, and they had the Roger Dubuis school in the, the downstairs of, oh, of Vacheron in good. Geneva. Good. This, is, uh, this is Cameron's brand new watch. He just came I've out with this, this watch one. on Friday. I've this one. I've heard the movements are made in California. Yes, in this one, yeah. He makes all of them. That's good. That's good. It's beautiful. Nice combination of straps and dials. One day, California is going to be the next Beating. watch, the next watchmaking center. Oh, but you the know, next with, with, with Apple in the San Francisco area, yeah. Yeah. you are one of the one if if they are producing. Oh, that's there. a good point. I guess uh, you have to count Apple yeah, now. You have don't to count Apple yeah. if, you, if you do that. California is the the new capital of watchmaking just because of Apple, right? <laughs> that's well, here, here's uh, here's Cameron's movement. That's good. Oh, no, no, that would be good. Lovely Looking piece. Good. Yeah, for lovely Torrance, piece California. For, huh? and you have a g- great price for uh, a good value for the money you spend with this totally. type of watch. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. I have one. I wear it proudly. Oh, that's good. So you, Jean-Marc, are you a lifelong watch lover or are you more of the luxury goods retailing giant type? Where do you see yourself in this it's business? It's an interesting question to start with. Well, I believe I became addicted to watches when I joined Mont Blanc. Mm-hmm. But before Mont Blanc in 2000, I was not really in the watch in the, as a watch passionate. And I became, the more I've learned about that industry, the more I learned about the movements, the types, what makes a success, what doesn't make it. I, and then I, I started to become addicted to watches. Yeah. How many watches do you have now? Ah, about <laughs> 25. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> so, so, yeah, the normal amount for, yeah, 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 <laughs> for, yeah, yeah, yeah. for someone who works for Panerai, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've met people who have thousands of watches. But, yeah. Uh, so uh, what, is your, what is your background before that? Where do you, I, where I, do you come I have, from? I've been, uh, I've been in school in France, and then I, I've, I've always worked in the luxury industry for the pleasure to travel, the pleasure to understand how, it, how, how, how to make products which the people don't really need, <laughs> but you are creating all the storytelling and all the uh, uh, beauty of working in, the, in, the, in a luxury story. And, uh, and I've always worked in the luxury industry and in LVMH and then uh, in Richemont since now 18 years. Is it harder to sell a watch that's $1,000 or a watch that's $100,000? Huh, it depends a lot. Um, it depends a lot on the story, on the, on the truth of the story you have with your product. Uh-huh. So I can tell you when I was with Roger to be on, and we see it also today with Panerai. Some of our best sellers are part of the ones which are the most expensive. Interesting. And uh, uh, and you see today some of the key watches which are the hottest in the world uh, are not the entry price uh, level uh, brands. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Ro- just the basic Rolexes, yeah. I mean, quote, basic, you know, $10,000 yeah. steel yeah. Rolexes yes. are like impossible to get. You go I'm, in any I'm Rolex one, boutique yes. in the world, dude, uh, you, they laugh at you if you ask sure, for one. For sure, for sure, for yeah. sure. Well, it's the same for us, same for OGDB, same for Panerai. When we, we've talked about, you know, through on this show, you know, the history of various watch brands and a lot of the brands you find they, they, they made watches in the past and then they sort of went away. The quartz crisis kind of killed them and then LVMH or, or Richemont or whatever sort of brought them back to life, right? Yeah. And, and that's sort of what happened with Panerai, sure. right? Yeah. Well, the brand nearly stopped to, 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 to be in business after Second World War mm-hmm. and Richemont took it over in 1997 and revamped all the, uh, all the, uh, uh, the story, uh, the manufacturer we have now in Neuchâtel in Switzerland, and the design studio we have in Milano, and the headquarters we have in Geneva, and now it's one of the uh, best success story in the watch industry uh, uh, within within the watch uh, community. Thank you, Sylvester Stallone. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Well, Sylvester has been a great a great promoter of of our story here in the U.S. and of course in the yeah. rest of the world. But in I've Hollywood, been... I think the brand has a special historical background, and that's very much associated to to him. Well, yeah, and, I, and also I think uh, the luxury market, you kind of want that impression of, of history, and it's the, the Italian dive watch thing is sort of a romantic story, it right? Is. It is, it is. Well, Panerai has this unique story that we are the only one among all the uh, uh, 700 watches brands which exist today in Switzerland. Are there 700? 700. Well, probably really? 650 we don't oh really God. know well. Uh, <laughs> but you know the three big groups which are the Rolex, the Swatch, and Richemont. And, um, and we are the only pure watch player who is from Italy. As mm. pure watch player. 
not jewelry, not fashion, not another origin, but yeah, as a yeah, pure yeah. watch player, we are the only one. And, and that is the beauty of our, of our story. From have, Florence. From Florence, yeah. 1860, had a small boutique, and, uh, and, uh, and all, sto- all our story has got along like that up to uh, 1945 and has been revamped since, uh, since uh, 1997. I found the picture. Where there, you, re- you bought and revamped the original boutique, right? Oh yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Well, in when you see our, our boutique in Fiorenti, which is one of the most successful we have in our network, because this is the original one. So now the boutique has been enlarged from the it's, historical it's this one. one. Yeah? yeah. So the one you have on the uh, left side was only this boutique. Then we enlarge it by the right on the left side of the store because mm. now we have three windows, which became the uh, the, the Panerai boutique on our platform in, uh, in Fiorenze. Yeah, I read uh, Giovanni Panerai opened, actually, it was a shop and a watchmaking school yeah, in 1860. Yeah, it is, it is. And just look at it in front of the Duomo. So for all, the, all of you uh, Americans who are going to uh, Fiorenze, and a lot of them are going in that store. Uh, this is where all the story started. Actually, you even have the, uh, it the happens to be floor. a good location for tourism, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it yeah, and we are the only brand here because uh, normally the, the, the shopping street is much after so as we are the only luxury brand in that in front of the Duomo and if if you can ask at the boutique manager when you enter to go on the second floor yeah. which is the historical office of Mr. Oh, Giovanni really? Panerai and you have in addition to li- to see where he was working the most beautiful view in the Duomo if you want to take pictures oh I didn't know that's as a personal advice there, as a personal advice I went yeah. into that boutique when I was in Florence last year and I didn't I learned once I was in there I was like oh wait this is the or the one Z1. Like it doesn't, there's a Z1 because it's kind of unassuming, actually. But you know, this is, you have a fair point. We will mention in our windows in the future, yeah, because few people know that. You um, don't know until you go inside exactly, and someone tells you exactly. Yeah. So the the uh, the outside, as you see it on the picture, is very different because this is the only store which has kept its original uh, uh, windows. But I think we will do in the future because eighty percent of the customers here are non-Italian. Yeah, and uh, but few know that well, that's with the real any, story. That's with all Italian brands, isn't it? I read that the 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 smallest market for Ferrari and Lamborghini globally is Italy. They oh, yeah. sell like two cars a year in yeah. Italy. And yeah, now, it's true. You it's know, true. When you see a Lamborghini, thousand times as many cars in China as they sell in here, Italy. Here, in America, yeah, yeah of America is the biggest market, like yeah. for, or like it is for uh, Panerai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, I think Panerai watches are uniquely positioned for Americans because we like big things. I know, <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. But well, it's extremely recognizable too from across the room. Yeah. It, you can recognize it. There's only what two case shapes, right? Two case Some shapes. different variations, but exactly. that exactly. is the Panerai. It, it was the Luminar. You know, it's so funny because when I joined the brand six months ago, we are even launching, or my predecessor on the team have launched the, the watch which comes now, which has even no logo. It's a replica which has been done in the past. And um, this is, to be back to what you were saying, one of the signature of a brand which stands as an iconic brand for the, for the shape of the product. Which watch is it? I was in the picture. Um, the, the watch is a Radio Mir. Radio Mir, if you see Radio Mir Innovation. I don't know if you have a, the picture already. Radio Mir to, uh, 2018. Is it already? Fi- I will is find it already for you. Oh, is this no the one logo. with the Roman numerals? With no logo. With no, no logo. logo. <laughs> the piece with no logo. Hang on. Uh, Hold on. No Continue. Logo. I will find um, it. And, and that is that really one. exactly. Yes. Exactly. It's, a t- uh, yes, it's eh? beautiful. Hang on. Two hand. I'll get it for you, folks. Don't Can, you worry about you, it. So that is standing. That is that a Panerai original. That works with blue hands. That really works. You know, that it? is a Panerai. And, and for me, the, the most luxurious signature of a brand is when you are able to show that it is a watch. Uh, part of Panerai, but you don't have to put without the logo. the logo. Yes, yes, yes. Speaking of logos, what's the the other the base logo? The what base is logo? the base logo about? Oh, that is OP, which yeah, for yeah. Officine Panerai. I know. I just, it's interesting that it was ad. Yes, Officine Panerai, and um, so the brand is very often called Panerai. Oh, there but we the go. original. We have, a, we have a real one. I don't exactly. Need to find, yeah. I don't need to find pictures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But and the that's ori- the super old school dial look with. Oh, it's like half Roman. Yeah. Numerals. So that one is the California. Yeah. Uh, the California, and you have the OP logo uh, at six o'clock. Um, and then you have, you know, this mixture of uh, 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 Roman numbers on, on, on Arabic numbers. That's uh, a bold move, man. If, if, I can't imagine being in a board meeting. You know, is Panerai, a, is, it a, is it a real corporate cunt culture? Oh, yeah, is it, it, a, is. It, is. it is. So when, when someone see. walks into a board meeting and says, here's what we're going to do. Yes. In Italian, of course. Half Roman numerals, top half, bottom half Arabic. Yes. Doesn't half the room just laugh at them and go, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know, but Panerai has this, has this unique cocktail of Italian creativity and Italian making. 
on, on we are a statement brand. Mm. The case is a statement. Well, yeah, you, know, you can see it from across 90, the street. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's big. Yeah. It's a statement. It has a special uh, safety lock, uh, uh, safety lock uh, protection. It has it has all the ingredients not to work because normally it has to be slim, small, round. Yeah. On our watches, have a discussion, discussion uh, shape. Um, when when we entered the market in 1997 or re-entered the market, it was big watches. Um, and today is one of the most successful brand in in that industry. They but I really got the big watch thing going, didn't they? Yeah. Was anyone doing bigger watches in the 90s? Or was that was this it really? Our best sellers are forty four, forty seven yeah. millimeter, which in our industry is it's really pretty big. a lot. Yeah. Uh, so for the US is okay, but uh, for for many Asian markets, which mm. is where a lot of brands have worked the last uh, ten years, uh, it's big watches. But today, when we are selling to Chinese or Japanese, we are selling the forty four and forty seven. We yeah. don't sell the we don't sell the we don't sell as much. The smaller cases. Yeah, I meant to ask you. You you ju you recently introduced some smaller cases. Are those selling but well smaller or cases, not really? Yeah, I will reply to you. Yes, because it's a new group of customers. Uh -oh. So they are all the newcomers to our brand, uh, more ladies. But however, we are smaller. It remains a thirty-eight millimeter case, yeah. which is big but for ladies. It's big. Well, well, no, but even for male, uh, thirty-eight in yeah. a brand. In, in a brand, yeah, for, not for, for America. No, no, not for America. <laughs> it's for true. America, it's small. Yeah. <laughs> but for a brand, thirty-eight millimeter. If you see all our competitors, they are uh, starting at thirty-six, yeah. or they are at thirty-three, or at twenty-eight. But thirty-eight, yeah. yeah, you don't have so many brands which have their smallest case at That's thirty-eight millimeter. That's true. I see, when I see, you know, I notice people's watches in, in Los Angeles when I'm walking around, they catch I see a lot of women wearing the bigger ones. Oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't see women wearing the smaller ones no, so no. much. No, no, it's true. Well, it's, it's, Panerai stands for a statement big watch. Yeah. So it's, it's, we will not compromise with that. We are a mechanical, Italian-inspired watch brand. And we will not make very small ones in quartz for ladies because the demand is towards quartz small uh, models. We will say what we are. Do you know the television show Law & Order? Yes, I Law heard about it. Yeah, yeah. Mariska yeah. Hardigay, the star of Law and Order, is wearing a panorama, a big panorama. Oh, this year. that's good. For that's the last good. twelve years, she wore. You know, you're, Eileen's, Eileen's nodding over there. She knows. She wore. <laughs> she wore Brightlings the last twelve years. Oh, you loaned it to her. Good for you. Oh, good. that's See? good. Watch people notice. That's so good. That's that good. loan was worthwhile for in, you guys. In our in our manufacturer in Neuchâtel, for all the Americans who uh, are able to visit our manufacturer, we have a hall of fame mm. where we are uh, seeing all these celebrities all over the world wearing our products without without knowing that it's us. You know. Because yeah. sometimes uh, they 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 all buy our products, and we have a picture. We have a walls with pictures of the celebrities. Ralph Lauren wears the pants yeah, sure. over. He wears yes. them over the jacket. He goes yes. really old school with yes. the, with it over the leather it jacket. It's, it's true, man. I, he he wants to really be a cowboy so badly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a fan of our brand. But yeah. Dwayne Johnson also here. Oh yeah, the Rock, rock is. Is uh, he an ambassador? He must be. Does he just buy? He them? is. Uh, he sent us a video, which is about the two minutes video a couple of months ago. Where he is expressing all his uh, his passion about the brand and on um, on how much he has he was dreaming about Panerai when he started his uh, his uh, his business on his career as a mega store. I and bet today, you can. Uh, I'm gonna find a picture. I bet you can find a picture of the oh, rock you, in front have, of his private yeah, yeah, jet. If wearing you have Panerai. if you have Dwayne Johnson Panerai, you have there you go. right there. Exactly. Boom. You see. Jan yeah, the Rock yeah. and Stan Lee. There he is. And, and, and he is really like Stallone, uh, representing very well what the brand stands for. You yeah, know? yeah. Brave, uh, solid guys who are not afraid about uh, anything. And wearing a Panerai is... Well, and it's sized to scale for his arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So 47, 47 <laughs> is the smallest one we have for him. Uh, you yeah. know, we even yeah. have 50 or 52, which I have to show him. So uh, you guys, you know, in about the, what, the 2005-06, Panerai began making their own movements as yes. opposed to, to sourcing out movements. And now I th are all of your watches in-house? All of our watches are made with our own movements. So I take it that was a good decision? Or is, there, is, it, is it worthwhile of a, to be a, a, a boutique watchmaker to make your own movements? Is it, does the I customer care or not really? It's a question of credibility in that industry. Having your own manufacturer just to assemble your watches is not the real definition of a manufacturer. 
You know, uh, yeah. today uh, among all like the seven hundred, Caros- area or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Styling so house. the idea was to say, when you are buying a Panerai, it's not a fashion brand. It's not something which you'll buy or it's only hot today, but it will disappear in the future. If you want to prove that, you have to invest in your own manufacturing facility. Uh, that's what we did in uh, in Neuchâtel, and today we have two hundred forty people working in that operation. On a hundred percent of our watches are made there, and you are we are able to handle these, let's say, automatic watches up to the tourbillon that you have here. Oh, pull, that, which pull is, that thing under the camera. Which is, uh, this thing is amazing. Which is one of the most sophisticated watch we have in our assortment, skeleted, a new, a like new the, approach. It's like the opposite of the traditional simple sandwich style, right? This is like, there's all kinds of stuff going on but, here. But normally, a skeleted watch has always stand for a traditional yeah, very of, like decorative and engravings exactly, and gold and exactly. This probably, is very different than that. Probably you guys have got their grand grandfather who were wearing this type yeah. of watches. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But now Panerai is part of is one of the brands, not the only one, but one of the brands which is reinventing this uh, skeleted uh, architectural approach. Yeah. And um, this is a material which is called DMLC, which is a 3D printing way oh, of really? doing cases. We were talking yeah. about this the other day with yeah. a, a, a gentleman who is who is doing this type. Of of technology. It's yeah. very interesting. It, it's an it, additive technology, not a milling. Exactly. And it allows you to have uh, um, uh, to have a lighter approach of doing cases. And you know, all the innovations in Panerai is targeting what type of additional benefit we can bring to customers. Not just bringing innovations because it's new, mm. but what is the advantage uh, for the customers? So here is a, the, the weight, and you see the way we, we build the skeleton is a, very, is a very graphic geometric approach yeah. to do it. A lot of negative space. Also, so well. if you look at the dial, there's little things in the, the in the design that could only be achieved with alternative manufacturing, right, like the like squares where we, that are like, cut straight through the dial. Yes, you could exactly. not do that like by these? milling it. No, exactly. Yeah. Like this yes. real this grate. It's I, I don't know if you can call grid. it a yeah. grate yeah, 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 yeah. in the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost like all these pieces are just mounted on a on a grate, like you'd hang you know tools on your wall or something like that. Yeah. It's very cool. It's a signature of our of our tourbillon uh, skeleton. And, and zoom, we discovered that Panerai... Be, being back to your yeah, question... Yeah, watch that huh? tourbillon you spin. just watch this tourbillon <laughs> spin for a minute. It's beautiful. Exactly. In 30 seconds, it's, it's, it's turning twice in a minute. And if you don't have your own manufacturer, you with your own watchmakers, your own department of research and development, you cannot achieve this type of, uh, this yeah. type of spectacular movements. And for us, it's not a big business, but it's a statement. It's, yeah. like, it's like your Formula One for a car... For a car manufacturer, it's, yeah. it's a it's a no business, but it's in terms of image, in terms of brand positioning. This is what Panerai. Uh, well, it's interesting that you bring the, the the image and brand positioning up because you guys race vintage yachts. Vintage yes. sailboat <laughs> racing is about the whitest sport that exists <laughs> on the planet. It's even whiter than vintage car racing. Which, is, but I mean, because I, how does does Panerai become not involved not just in. Uh, yacht racing, but specifically in vintage yacht racing. It's it's alien. So we have our own boat. Is, which wait, is this we one are, yours? Which it wait, is. Uh, hang it on, is, I know you have co- yours. It's right, right, alien. Isn't this it? E-I- yes, it's this one. Yes, exactly. So for the ones who know uh, vintage yachting, it's 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 a very nice, it's a very nice uh, antique boat which uh, we are going to use also to host customers. So far, it was purely used really? for racing. And in the future, we will station the boat in Kisseris, and it comes soon in Miami. It will be in Miami. Really? In, 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 I don't remember the date exactly, but I think something like, Mar- like, like in March, February April. for that, uh, that yes, show exactly. that's happening? Yeah, yeah. For I'm going. The, I want, oh, can I come there. see Watches it? Watches on Wonders 2019. I, yeah, I want to come be, see it. You'll be more than welcome. Oh, awesome. We will have the boat here. And uh, my intention is to park it in some hot cities because it will cross the Atlantic um, for the um, for the uh, for race. They're going to sail it across the Atlantic. Sailing, wow. so it will be a vintage racing boat uh, in uh, starting in uh, Spain and arriving in San Kitts in That's the Caribbean bad. Islands, and that is in January. So it will start in December and January 9th and should finish two to three weeks later. It's a beautiful boat. Full time crew. Uh, yes. Yes, Amazing. and so 
uh, for some of our high-end customers or journalists, we will station the boat in some key cities uh, in the Mediterranean, like Barcelona, like uh, uh, Nice, like uh, Argentario in Italy, and uh, you'll be able to spend uh, a day, a weekend, a week on the uh, boat, uh, assisting camp. with the crew members. And But you also sponsor the racing series. It's Panerai Classic Yachts exactly. Challenge. Exactly, yes. It's a nine cities uh, uh, racing, uh, which is in between the U.S. and, and Mediterranean. Um, and the, the scoop is that soon we will also uh, sponsor the America's Cup. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, we'll how cool. The America's Cup. And we'll be part of, the, of, a dream, of an Italian dream team. So for all the Italians who That's are hearing awesome. us, it will be uh, uh, Prada, Panerai, and, uh, and pra uh, Prada, Panerai, and uh, Pirelli. So the Didn't you guys just come out with a new regatta timer? I thought I just saw that, right? Isn't there yes. a brand new regatta timer? Yes, 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 which is honoring picture. what we are doing with uh, uh, the, 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 the yacht. Where the, the your challenge is say what transat, transat Tran classic transat classic transat classic yes yeah. yes yes Those so uh, all these events are occasions for us to celebrate it by bringing some uh, some key innovations and uh, and um, we we did it with the Panerai classic your challenge and we'll do it in the future of course with the America's Cup uh, which we will show at the SIHH which is the uh, uh, fair we have at the beginning of January uh, in Geneva. I just had I just had like a mild panic attack that the pictures of the yacht didn't actually make it into the live stream. I think they did. I saw them up you there. Saw, I saw you them saw up them on the there, screen. Yeah. Okay, I just for some reason had a panic attack that maybe they weren't <laughs> there, and so here they are again. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful yacht. Yeah. That's, I mean, to have that and have it go into your marketing budget is pretty sweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty, oh, that's, that's a pretty yeah, good yeah. game you get to play there. Keeping a boat like this one uh, uh, each year costs uh, cost a lot of money. Like, like when you have surprised. a private plane, like we have all these type of activities uh, because you break a lot of things because you have four people on board, four or five people on board. Yeah. But it's, it's also something we'll follow by internet. So everybody will be able to know where the boat is stationed. You know, oh, it was, do you it have was in a, Venice GPS uh, tracking GPS system, and we can welcome everybody uh, uh, on the boat where where it is. So, okay, you showed us the, the crazy skeleton tourbillon, which I want to take home. Cost, <laughs> cost much my house. Um, what about in the more the more standard watches? What's what's new in the Panerai world for the the more let's if you can call them consumer grade uh, watches? Well, the the coming the, the we we have the thirteen twelve, which is a historical Panerai. Uh, uh, watch if you if you put Panerai thirteen twelve, uh, this is the one which is known as oh the, Luminor Marina exactly that days. is the one that is the one which is known as the emblematic Panerai watch. It's actually my favorite of your watches. You know that's that's yeah, uh, trying to get a proper picture. Don't forget that the Panerai stands for an easy to read watch. And, and because it ha it was a diving instrument, so when you dive, the the the, the thing you want is to have something which is very easy to read, and, and that is very much encapsulated in this in this model. So this remains today the emblematic watch for for Panerai, and um, so we have a couple of innovations next year around this watch. This watch exists in many in many different materials like titanium, like red gold, like uh, uh, and, and we have soon come. Oh, actually, it's interesting. Can I can I because can I transit because last week we talked about different materials and cases yeah. and stuff, and you have the carbon fiber. Yeah. Right. Yes, on the submersible. The submersible. Yeah. Do, it's interesting about carbon fiber, and this happens with cars as well. Yeah. I hear you like cars. I oh mean, yeah. We, yeah, should, yeah, we, should, we should transit to cars at some point, but. Cars and, and watches, there's something, you know, when you have a, 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 a something heavy, heavy typically is associated with luxury, but also like extremely light can be associated with luxury as well. But I find that with cars, if you have a car that's like like the new Ford GT or some of the yeah. new McLarens with extensive use of carbon fiber, yeah. they almost feel like hollow yes. and therefore uh, somehow less luxurious for their price points, right? Do you find with the carbon cases... Um, that they are almost maybe too light or don't feel luxurious enough? Well, Do the customers think in that? In my, in my former company, uh, Roche Duby, I, I was one of the ones who has this partnership with uh, Lamborghini. And Lamborghini stands for a brand which is intensively using a generation of new carbon. Mm. And we even did... Our, we were our talking Roche about the, uh, the forged carbon, right? Yeah, the forged pre carbon. The pressed exactly. carbon, Exactly. Yes. We actually were discussing that on the show exactly. last week. Exactly. Yeah. So the, the latest Roche are made with this carbon coming from uh, Lamborghini. Okay. Okay? So for Panerai, 
we have this very uh, special way to do the carbon and it brings some very much lightness. The beauty of our new material in watches, it's very much associated to high-end materials. It's not because it's light that it's under under undervalued mm -hmm. by the customers. Right. Some of the materials which have names which you have you cannot remember because they are so long and so complicated. <laughs> but we are very much inspired in our industry by what's happening in the plane, aerospace, supercars, yeah. even even medical instruments. Yeah. I was recently in Switzerland with a medical company because they work on very small tools, very resistant, which mm. is exactly the problems we have in the watch industry. How you can work on elements and components which are very resistant and very small. Mm. So. In a brand like Panerai, we are very much uh, uh, influenced by what's happening in other industries. To unveil you a secret, what we'll do with the America's Cup is that we will reuse some of the elements of the boat, mm. Luna Rosa, to make some of our watches. Cool. So like... I don't tell you more. No, 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 uh, no, no more. You have to wait now. Well, January, I mean, right? those, these cup boats are, cr they're really crazy. I mean, it couldn't be more different from the vintage yachts. I mean, the foils and the heart, the rigid wings. I mean, have it, you seen these new yeah. cup boats, Cameron? Yeah, yeah. If you take Luna Rosa, the, the, the next generation of boat they are having are in between Formula One, uh, super jets. And, uh, uh, have on, they on changed the, the boat further? Or um, is the, uh, they will have a new boat and veer that's on, 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 on training camp right now in Sardinia. Like, look uh -huh. at the. Well, forgive me for. Pulling up a picture of an Omega <laughs> Omega no livery no, 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 boat. No, but <laughs> it, it tells you it tells you exactly wow. what the boats are. They are flying. They are no yeah. more. They are no more on the surface of the water. And to be able to gain a couple Wait, of seconds. Is, a, is this the new boat? This is a monohull, but it's flying. Is this, yeah, is yeah. It not, that, that is a new generation of boat. On that, so no more Luna catamaran. Rosa, no more. No more catamaran. Oh, no, that would be ca catamaran. Okay, the okay, new wait, one that would be catamaran. All right, I I found that's a funky picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but flying. The the concept of being about a meter above the sea is what they will use more and more in the future. Wow. To have less resistance, of course, you win. And, yeah. and then you are approaching the, 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 the 55 yeah. miles an hour. They're so fast and they are so, like, sketchy. <laughs> You know, here we go. Yes, yeah, foil boats, catamarans. With these, these sails are actually rigid. Like that's like an airplane wing mounted vertically. And 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 we will reuse some of these materials. So look at that's, these pictures and cool. see how we can reuse some of the materials. You have the answer in your picture. So it's got to be difficult to 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 have to, you know, sell this heritage, but also have to make it futuristic. But you know, Panerai stands for the ones of you who speak a little, a couple of words of Italian, which is Panerai Laboratorio di Idee. Yeah, that is the, the claim, which is always, always associated to our brand. Laboratorio di Idee is, you, you, I'm sure you understand what it means. That is how you can have people working on the future ideas. Uh -huh. Okay, Laboratorio, Laboratory yeah, yeah. of mm -hmm. Ideas. Yeah. And uh, so Panerai stands a lot for uh, useful innovations. And, um, and, and we are much more involved in that future. The back on the history is something which is very important because it tells you where we come from, Italy, Firenze, as you were saying. Right. But the way we will develop all our future models are very much inspired by what you are seeing on your screen. Do you, so what is from, all right, what, do we, what does the consumer want next? Do we want a crazy looking piece? Do we want a longer power reserve? Do we want more complications? What do, what do we really want out of these watches in the future? Well, you have all this new generation of millennials who are after a product. Don't say a smartwatch. I'll kick no, you no, out of this No, room. no, no. <laughs> Well, some of them, of course. Some of them, of course. But but you still have, despite of these watches, uh, a rival, a growing number of customers who also want, meaning true watches, mm. uh, non not necessarily for their functionality. If you want a functional, only a functional watch, you have hundreds of other opportunities to yeah. have a functional watch in your day. But it's a, it's a design statement. It's a mechanical statement. It's also something you will be able to keep in your patrimony for the next... 20, 30, 50 years, yeah, okay? yeah. which is not the case of... Uh, yeah. of uh, it's a completely uh, emotional decision, just like exactly. the Countach or, totally. or my Rover or something oh, like yeah. that. It makes no sense. I have I have an Italian car <laughs> that drives me nuts. Here's it on a trailer yesterday because it broke. Ah, oh. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It was very pretty. It was very pretty sitting on the side of the road waiting for a tow truck. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately. Yeah, it happens. Um but uh, so the motivation to be back to your question of people is to really have this, as you say, emotional association to mm -hmm. a brand. Uh, it's a it's a slice of Italy. It's a slice of Swiss watchmaking you have in your on your wrist, and it's you can be proud of that. Yeah. Uh, you you achieve something in your life 
when you have, especially when you're a man, because women have much more opportunities to. They have diamonds. Jewelry. We don't have that kind of stuff. We, All no, we no, have no, is the watch. That's, exactly. That's, that's, exactly. We've we've established that the watch is like it's the only thing a man can wear that's a hundred thousand dollars that he doesn't look completely ridiculous wearing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I exactly. Mean? Hundred thousand exactly. dollars. I know it's a lot of money, people. I yeah. know. I'm not, I'm not that. <laughs> well, in average, Panerai is about eight thousand to ten thousand dollars watch. Yeah. Uh, Which we is, have. We have this, high end watches. This yeah. titanium one is that, put, throw, put that under the camera. That yeah, thing yeah. is cool. Yeah. That's, so the, th that's the that's the thinner one, case. Uh, yeah. Is about six thousand dollars. It's the blue dial is very. Oh, this is a right? new one. This is a new one which you can find in our store in uh, in Rodeo Drive or South Coast Plaza, and it's just arrived about fifteen days ago. It's our uh, blue dial editions. Um, we see a growing trend behind blue dials, for example. You know, which even sometimes is better than the black dials. I like yeah. Yeah. has stand for years Especially for black Especially blue dial. sandwich style. That's yeah. really yes. really yes. nice. Yes. Yes. That's a that's that's a fan. And what's the there's the other blue. There's a slightly different. What's the other new uh, color? The blue that we are using also for our submersible. But uh, the the Panerai blue is a very dark one. Uh, we have the submersible. If you take the BMG, take the submersible BMG, which is also be back to your question about special a special material. Yeah. The BMG. We're well, on the left side. Left side of this, your the third third. Yes, this, this one. one. This oh, is that's BMG. yeah. That's the that blue I was BMG. talking about. Yeah, that's exactly. a, that's a crazy blue. It's so vivid. So this one is a special material. Panerai is the only one to use bulk metal glass um, with this special case. Unscratchable. What is that? Unbreakable, anti-magnetic. We are the only brand in the world to have this type of material. Wait, what does BMG stand for? Bulk metal glass. Huh. A new generation of material that uh, uh, we have developed and uh, this is valid only for this submersible. Um, we have, unfortunately, no piece available in LA area because uh, on that worldwide because we supplied about 300 pieces this year. Uh, 700 are supposed to arrive in the next coming months. But this piece is a hot, is a hot one. I mean, it, can this uh, BMG be uh, made in other colors as well? Could you, oh, you can do it in any color you want. We, we, we are studying that to have, to have other materials with the same mm. uh, principal uh, characteristic. I'm seeing a red i'm thinking i'm thinking a red dial maybe <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Red, i mean a, 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 a toro Ro, you know a toro rosso a, a rosso corsa maybe a partnership <laughs> with you know, i can the invite you in their to reds. our italian uh, uh, the creative studio they have hundreds of different options for this one sure. so but the, I, I was speaking about the colors of the material huh? yeah because the dial is a normal dial what is the specification is bulk metal glass is the case oh yeah in the case oh. this is a case which is unscratchable so it's, it's unbreakable kind of like near the ceramic family a little bit or uh yes a little bit yeah, yeah, yeah. well yes 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 bulk metal glass wow. bmg but it looks exactly like a, a stainless steel or a titanium it's beautiful and in the future we'll have we'll have other colors of this material yeah. Sort of like a zirconium type of the thing? The zirconium will have a... Well, we study different options yeah, which yeah. are not yet valid. But similar but properties to that? Similar properties. That's, oh. uh, that's The whole time what I thought you were talking about the dial because the dial's like so in your face. Yeah. I didn't realize yeah, yeah, you are talking yeah, yeah. about the case which, on the, I mean, at least in this photo, just looks like steel. BMG Tech. You see below oh, Panerai, cool. it's written BMG Tech. So this is something which is only associated yeah. to Panerai. How cool. The actually, that wasn't actually the color I was referring to. I was referring to that grayish blue color that I saw earlier this year, and I'm trying to find a picture of it, and now I can't. Well, the one which is very spectacular is a bronzo. Oh, it's this. It was. Oh, the, yeah. Is it the bronze? It's that. Oh right? no. Oh yeah. This, this is a, a black black dial associated to a 38 uh, a Luminor Douai. Yeah. Okay. But the one you can be very interested if you are in, if you are uh, focused on material is of course the bronzo. Panerai stands. The bronze case. Bronzo. B R O N Z O. I am a huge fan of bronze watches. That I think they they, Here we they are. patina really well. The patina or, yeah. is is ready, and that yes. is. And that's vintage diving right there. That's like exactly. some diving bell. So the diving. story came from the former CEO, which on the boat Aileen, the boat you were speaking about oh. a couple of minutes ago, you have a lot of bronzo Look at that. material. The patina here. Here's exactly. brand new. And then the patina. That's rad. And here's a super patinaed one. So I am proud to tell you that oh. in a in March, oh, April nice. next year, a new bronzo edition will be launched. Really? Yeah. Uh oh. On, Get on. the checkbook ready. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Here, I, that I is. apologize for those at home. My video skills were lacking. Look, here's the here's brand new. Yeah, that is the one. Yes, exactly. And then here's uh here's some patina, and then here's a guy who left one strapped to the side of his boat for a while. <laughs> <laughs> 
So a new bronze, because Panerai has been, on today you have a lot of brands who are bringing bronzo on the market, but, but Panerai remains today the original brand uh, which has relaunched bronzo a couple of years ago. Yeah, there's a Tudor's got a good bronze, a yeah. Black Bay bronze. Oris has the uh, the Carl Brashear edition bronze. Many brands are now following. Right what happened to well, that guy? Wow. Oh, sure. Yeah, that, that, I don't know ship, what he did with his watch. Patina level shipwreck. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but potentially it can become like that. Yes. Yeah. yes but you yes. could do, I mean, if you actually well, you stuck this in some salt water and then left it on your roof for a while, yes. you could probably achieve that effect. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't see that very often, but it's true that no, this boss. ultimately can come like that. We can restore it in a, an yeah. original state. I, I would but, like uh, to hear from the watchmakers in the restoration department how they feel when <laughs> one of those comes in. <laughs> oh, uh. oh, man. How do you guys, you know, Panerai's are one of the, the few watches that look really, really good on aftermarket straps yes. and bracelets. Do yes. you guys embrace that, or do you get a little, eh, when people customize their watches? But, you know, we are first developer of uh of 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 high-end watches mm. of high-end mechanical watches and we are retailer that's the two mission we have in 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 our in our daily work so the straps even though we have about 500 straps in our assortment today we can admit with all the demand we have for personalized unique straps so we have and we have identified a couple of companies like that in the world which are doing some spectacular straps there is this this company named Combat Strap in Montreal. Oh yeah, Combat's is, good. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a spectacular guy. I've never met with him, but I've heard so many times about him that he is developing some some spectacular straps. My um, favorite guy is from Turkey. He's called Bosphorus. I plug this guy any chance I get. Bosphorus straps. They make these beautiful uh, canvas. Exactly. And they okay. make these. Uh, oh, Bosphorus the leather. In, Bosphorus in leather Tur in Turkey, Turkey in okay. Istanbul. Yeah, I have a few straps from them. They make these cases as well. Very nice. Beautiful pieces, and they look particularly good on Panerai. So you know. As long as Panerai is continuing to create these emotional values, what you are speaking about, that goes with straps because nothing is changing you more a Panerai watch than having different straps. Yeah. And we sell today, by the way, more straps than watches. Oh, really? In, in, terms, of, uh, in terms of numbers. Um, and uh, so we, we support all these brands which are uh, accompanying the Panerai success story around the world. And we even have a project in, in one of our stores in Hong Kong. We have the biggest store in the world based in Hong Kong, which has 11 floor. And we intend to dedicate one area which will be dedicated only to straps, a strap bar, where it's not impossible that we host this type of oh, company with your friend, cool. your friend oh, that would Bosphorus. actually be cool yeah you know, that's really where oh, for could, a couple of months yeah he is able to display all these spectacular straps oh, like he a has. residency of straps. yeah exactly oh, that's cool. exactly that's a, i would call that embracing straps exactly yeah yeah i like in your in your stores i like these round displays they remind me of the big things to oh, lower you know, it ship opens, anchors it opens yeah it goes yeah, yeah, up yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. so that's 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 a welcoming uh, table for the newcomers in Panerai. And you couldn't see Jean-Marc's hand gesture because I had the screen up, but these tables open vertically yes. uh, like a French press, like a coffee French yeah, press. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. And you have access to the watches. You can host about eight eight watches here. And uh, it's it's a good way to, to welcome people. You know, and especially all the ones who don't yeah. necessarily all, all know all the details of the brand. It's a, it's a welcoming approach. And then, then you can sit down. Which store you have? This is a new store in Ginza, yeah, yeah. which opened last week. Is it, so speaking of stores opening, you know, is it the, the, the brick and mortar retail game right now, you know, compared to the online uh, sales and stuff like that? Is it? Is it a good time to be retailing brick and mortar right now? Are these <laughs> are these boot? I mean, I don't know. I, I I'm not really sure. Are people going to the stores as an experience because they want to try everything on, or are yes. they uh, buying on the you internet? Need, you need basically both. Yeah. You cannot live one without the other. Mm. And of course, in the U.S., you are more advanced than anywhere else in the world for the uh, e-commerce. Um, but we strongly believe that there is still room to uh, develop our retail business in many areas in the world, especially in China and the U.S. In the U.S., we'll open soon Chicago, for example, where we have no store so far. We'll open uh, Houston probably in the next, uh, in the next uh, six to eight months. Um, and uh, But our e-commerce is growing. And the, the next Bronzo, for example, will be available on e-commerce the same time than what it will be available in our own stores. Is that bronze? Yeah. Is the Bronzo limited edition? Will be uh, what? It's Are not a limited Panerai's edition. Limited it will edition? be. It will be. It will be uh, limited to a thousand pieces in production per year. Okay. So it will not limit it. Will not be limited as such as a one shot. Yeah. Uh, but we will not produce more than a thousand pieces a year. Yeah. 
Do you find, as far as you know, special editions, limited editions go, that that's sort of a bell curve where you can make too many, and there's so many they become less special. Is it important to? Yeah, yeah, it's a very important question what you are telling, because in the future we will not have more than five spectacular limited editions a year for the world. That's good. Okay, and and to to restage our core assortment. Uh, on today, our 20 bestsellers in the world are, are non-limited editions. The yeah. 13, 12 you were showing a couple of minutes ago, this yeah. is part of the assortment since 25 years. Um, but the Lab ID, perhaps you can show also on the screen what is the Lab ID. Lab ID? Which, Lab ID Panerai. Um, that, is, that, is. that is a very spectacular one, which, uh, oh, yeah. the blue one, exactly. Wow, that looks exactly. awesome. What is this okay. about? I so this has a special movement with no lubrific, uh, with a yeah. very small lubrification, only one point of lubrifi lubrification, if the Lubrica word is correct. Yeah, lubrication. Exactly, and um, very spectacular dial. Uh, carbon fiber uh, case? Carbon fiber case, 50 pieces at 50,000 uh, euro with a guarantee of 50 years. Wow. Okay, and this will start to supply the first pieces. Wait, a guarantee, meaning a warranty? Warranty. 50-year 50, 50 warranty? 50 years warranty. That's pretty cool. Okay, I don't, that, I don't know warranty. if anyone's doing a 50-year warranty right now on <laughs> anything. <laughs> And, and this one, <laughs> I can tell you that is a, a very hot piece which will supply in January, starting to supply in January. Um, is, there a, a, is there a display back on this piece? Can you see the movement? Is this the, is this the Wow, yeah, yeah. look at that. Exactly. All right, let me pull this picture it's up. It's a special, a special movement. So this is really a, a, an edition which we will highlight even more in the future. That's worth having a limited edition. Yeah. So this movement, I notice there's no jewels. Right? No jewels. Correct. Except for the, the cap jewel here this on the balance the wheel. Yes. One, right? So that'd be the only lubrication is on the balance wheel, yes. right? One, okay. one, one point of lubrication. Yeah. You have the power reserve three days on the back of the watch. It's, it has all the ingredients of simplicity and easy to read than a Panerai, but in a highly sophisticated movement and highly sophisticated carbotech case. So is it special materials for uh, for the pinions? A lot of carbon. A lot of carbon okay. you have here also in the movement. Uh, black titanium. Um, and, and, and this piece has been shown for the first time at the, at the, at the concept watch at the SIHH 2017. And we are, after all the tests we have been doing, all the uh, um, yeah after sales service uh, uh, approach we have been getting on this concept, able to supply only the first pieces now. Yeah. Sometimes you know it takes. It's a huge change. Huge, oh, yeah, huge yeah. change. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's a really cool. Look and you have movement. this particular blue dial. Yeah. You know, which is uh, we we are using only the, the green. You know, in our in our in our brand. So this is an exception to the rule. It's got a lovely glow. Is this how it sort of looks in dusk? Like it's a bit. This is a bit lit up, right? The loom is a bit is activated. Um, well, you'll have the same. The you'll have the same luminescence on the blue than what we have the, on the on the green. Right, right, okay? right. Yeah. So, being the in the darkness, you can see very easily the uh, the watch. Is it strange? Uh, you know the 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 radio mirror being a huge part of uh, of Panerai's history. You know, we we did some a story on the show about you know the the horrible history of radium and what it did to the people who made it <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know is obviously there's you haven't been using radium for you know a hundred years or whatever yes, in watches yeah. but is that you know i guess do people <laughs> do people look too deeply into the radium history or <laughs> is it kind of just like well it's a fun name so <laughs> yeah many people don't really know all the historical background and that and then it became part of the wordings we are yeah, having yeah. in our brand uh, but many Many stuff we are using in our in, in our daily life have been developed uh, as 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 secrets of military yeah. and, and 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 you know internet comes from the military yeah. uh, historically okay yeah. we forget that because it's our daily uh, our daily life yeah Hedy, Hedy Lamar and Wi-Fi I just saw the documentary right exactly, you see the uh, frequency hopping yes yeah, yeah. yes many things have been done for this type of very uh, demanding environment. That afterwards can be reused in the let's say normal life. Mm -hmm. On our watches, we are also paying a lot of attention to what's happening in the other industries to be able to uh, uh, to to develop our products. <laughs> it's 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 b brutal the stories of what happened to people who worked with radium back in oh, the yeah, day. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, it's for absolutely sure, absolutely brutal. For sure. This uh, this beautiful gold piece, I I got my eye on. Pull this up under here. This is it's a it's a amazing. Piece. Let me zoom out a little bit, but flip it over real quick, Cameron, because the movement is just incredible. It actually looks. Is this sort of similar in structure to this? 
to the lab uh, idea. The movement? architecture architecture is 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 very much inspired from the from the from the same because it yeah. happens very often when we build our own movement in our in our own manufacture that we are reusing some spare parts or at least the same principles. You yeah. know, there's the beauty of having a Formula One within your team. Yeah. You, yeah. All the good principles you have developed for the high end, you can reuse a good principle to develop yeah. your your let's say regular your regular watches. So uh, yeah, the architecture of the movement is the same, but the principle is very different for the lab ID for having no lubrification. What is the name of this watch? It's a, it's a Radio this Mir. Is, this is a Radio Mir, Radio Mir uh, uh, model. Yeah, 570? I think right. it's, is that, is that what oh, the reference? Sticker? You mean yeah, the reference? Five uh, yeah. I, I have, Just I, for, the ra for the audio only people. But the movement like glows through the display yeah. back. It's, it's yeah, really... Yeah, because the Radio Mir line is going to be positioned in the future as our line for vintage. Like you see our boat, mm -hmm. the Radio Mir will stand in our assortment for the same principle. This is what and reminds... And the Luminor is the new... And the Luminor is all what is... Luminor and even more the submersible mm -hmm. are, are going to be in the, in the uh, paving the future of the brand. But uh, mechanically, are there really any dip much differences between the two? They share movements, right? The, oh, yeah, yeah, the Luminor sure. and the Radio Mir? Yes, but um, uh, when we do the Lab ID, uh, uh, all the... All the new materials, the new movements will go for the submersible and in a certain extent to the mm -hmm. Luminor. You know, this is where we have the Carbotech, the, the, the Ceramic, the BMG, uh, the Bronzo, the DMLC. That will go for the, for the submersible and Luminor. And the Radio Mir will have all the historical materials. The uh, red, the red gold, the white gold, the platinum, the, the, the steel will, yeah. be associated to, will be associated to Radio Mir. Do you find, is the popularity there with precious metals right now? Are they really popular? Or is it really you steel have, in the future you, metals? No, 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 no. You still have a, grow, uh, a strong demand behind red gold, white gold, um, among all the countries in the world. Uh, of course, it's much more expensive than the titanium and the steel of the world, but uh, you still have this type of customers. When we see the Douai, for example, because mm. it's a slimmer case, allows us to be much more affordable in price point because mm. of less material. Uh, so Douai is doing about 30, 35% of its business with gold. Oh, okay. So you can buy, you can have a more precious metal and there's a little less at of the, it. At the so price, at the yeah. price, which is more reasonable. you got a 47 reasonable. millimeter yeah. super chunky gold case. Yes. That's going to be expensive. That, oh, that's, that's, where expensive. The bronzo, that's where the bronzo has all his vanity. Right. Because it looks cool. You but have it's, the look, yeah. you have the patina, and you have a price point which is easier to absorb. How much is the bronze compared to the steel? Do you know, is it bronzo price point is about, uh, you speak about price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the next bronzo will be about 15,000 okay. euro, which is about $17,000, something oh. like that. And the steel is about 10, 10, <laughs> 10,000 10, for so the So maybe 50% more for the bronze, but, yeah. but it would be like 100 to 200% more for gold. Oh yeah, yeah, it's yeah like because thirty thousand for yes, gold, right? Yes, it's a yes, thirty thousand for for the bronzo yeah, yeah. In, in gold. Gold. Yes. Oh wait, wait for the bronzo. You can get that in. Wait. Well, for that that case for that case shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I was yes. I was confused. <laughs> um, where else? What else do you need to tell us? What else is it go? Oh, actually, I have one more question. What's it, is Basil done? What's happening with Basil? <laughs> is, is Basil worth doing? I mean, once what's happening in, in Switzerland with the Basil show? Yeah. Well, you know, uh, Swatch has decided to, 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 to leave the show. Um, we, 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 as, as a Richemont brand, we are exhibiting in a, at the SIHH, mm -hmm. the Salon International de la Haute Horlogerie, which is uh, organized each year the third week of January. And for us, there is still a future for this type of show. Because I was speaking about that this morning to someone. We are going to have about 500 meetings during four days. Can you imagine how much Jeez. I have to travel <laughs> around the world to, yeah. meet, to meet all these people? So yeah. for a brand I don't like think the yacht goes that fast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Especially Aileen, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps with America's Cup yeah. the show, it could be better. But um, no, seriously, if you want to meet all the journalists, television, bloggers, customers, uh, your investors who have uh, 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 share in some of our stores around the world, it's a unique opportunity to have everybody within a very short moment of time. Plus, it's putting all the teams in, under pressure to be ready at a certain time. You mm -hmm. know, it's like a defilé of haute couture. You have the show yeah, which yeah, is yeah, held yeah. at that time and yeah. so on and so on yeah. and you are never ready before. You know, yeah, and everyone minutes. has a panic attack for a couple weeks. And, exactly. You know. Lab ID has to be ready by yeah, this yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
remains fixed. In yeah. cars, we see this with SEMA all, yeah. the, all the time. You it's know, or the big so show in Geneva or yeah. Detroit or Paris or yeah. whatsoever. And, and that is has the same principle. Plus, at the SIHH in the future, which is probably something also differentiating from other show in the world, we are going to invite much more final customers. You know, because something we have not spoken here is about the paneristi. The paneristi are all the yeah. collectors, but the enthusiast about the brand. We have in each and every country in the world groups of people who are big fan of Panerai. Uh, they never really had an access to the SIHH because it was a show open only to professionals, yeah. people who had to get a store yeah. or being journalists. Well, it's a business-to-business business show. It's exactly. not a consumer show. Yeah. But in the future, the SIHH will be open much more to final customers or okay. fan of the brand. Uh, the paneristi, so the Sunday the, the show will start uh, in January uh, 15, if I will remember, and... Um, it will be dedicated only to final customers. No other people will be able to come except final customers uh, to be able to get the privilege to see the innovations before before the others. Uh, this is all the new magnitude we want to give to these shows, like SIHH. We have the big show at the beginning of the year in Geneva, which doesn't forbid us to organize somewhere else in the world, three, four big show, you know, in Asia, in the US, yeah. in, in Middle East or in Europe, uh, where we can reshow a couple of innovations. Uh, well, are you doing that in Miami? In fe- we in do that February? in Miami, absolutely, yeah. in February. Uh, we have, uh, starting tomorrow, a uh, convention with all our key dealers in the US, which will be held in Mexico. Um, and, and I believe a lot in these, let's say, local, more local show, right. where you can, you can host m- more customers because n- nobody, uh, not everybody can come to Geneva. It's like year. the Red Bar, like what our friend Adam does with the Red Bar groups yes, here and exactly. around, which exactly. is like getting exactly. enthusiasts exactly. together. With, exactly. You know, yeah. you know? And Paneristi, for example, is a, is a great community of people, which when you are in Panerai, that's one of the very first uh, community you are, you are, you are meeting. Yeah. Because these people, and probably you know, oh, they're, they're, they're one of the oldest kind of enthusiast groups for watches that I know of. They've been around, and they're the, oh, they didn't one realize of the strongest this is an groups. Actual, I think this is an actual forum, the yeah. Panerai oh, yeah. Forum. And it oh, has yeah. been for a long time. Well, it looks like yeah. it was. This website was right? developed in 1997. Oh, I can't tell you. <laughs> I, <laughs> Just like the classic Radio yeah. Mirror case. It's yeah, 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 yeah. like a cult. cult I have following. met some of them during my last uh, visit here in LA. Oh, or they were all together in, uh, in Hong Kong. Uh, recently in Hong Kong, you had the worldwide meeting of the Paneristi. So 250 Paneristi from all over the world met for three days in Hong Kong, sharing their latest model, latest news, latest models <laughs> at that, uh, uh, bless you, at Thank that, you. At that show. I'm sorry. <laughs> And uh, last year was in Chicago in the U.S. Uh, and, and and it's fascinating to see this the, the knowledge they have. They know more about Panerai than than I will never know in yeah. the next in the next twenty years. There's, I mean, there are there are nerds. There are nerds, and and you you meet them, and I'm constantly. I know a little bit about a few things, and I'll be confronted with an exceptional nerd about a certain topic, and I'll immediately have to tap out of any conversation <laughs> in five seconds. You know, <laughs> they know all the they know the historical background of the brand. They know all the strategic decisions, yeah. what has been done, why it hasn't been done, reference the, numbers for reference everything number, historical, price point, and, yeah. what is the price on, on auction, and so on and so on. There, yeah. there, it's it's a, a living encyclopedia of. Of yeah. the brand, on, yeah. on the, it's, it's pretty cool as a brand to be able to utilize that as well, because they also retain all the history for you, yeah. and they know exactly you know what was great about that particular model and why everyone really loved that one. It had, you know, maybe the some thing was uh, an applied uh, numeral or something, and then there was twelve of them that were just printed dials. Yeah, yeah. Weird little details like that that yeah. that most companies can't even. Uh, hold on to internally for sure for <laughs> sure for sure for sure do you uh, run those these like uh like focus groups for where for enthusiasts or is it really just you know the way we operation? develop products is that we work with three four years ahead so we know already what we launched at the SIHH 2020 and we are already advanced at 50 percent of the SIHH 21 um, but meeting with this type of people uh, the penary C are going to give you some informations which are relevant. Why you don't relaunch this one. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. why you do this for the next one. Uh, yeah. And sometimes we have taken decisions to change a couple of our parameters based on their comments. Mm. Uh, so I don't say we make 
focus group like 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 the uh, like other uh, uh, industries are doing um, because if we believe in something which is good for the brand we'll do it yeah and sometimes if if you do too much focus group you don't do any more anything because yeah. well it's a problem with car with car people I don't think car manufacturers should listen to their own customers they should or at least listen to them less like for instance when when they brought back the mini right mm -hmm. the 2002 mini what happened well they had a focus group after that and they said well what do you guys like and they said well it should have more space. And they should have said, shut up, it's a Mini. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. Ex ex yeah. Except what happens, every new Mini gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And now the Mini is the size of, of, a, yes. of a normal car. It's yeah. not Mini anymore. anymore. No. And I had one of those first Minis, and I'm a big guy, and it was fine. <laughs> no, when, <laughs> it did when not they, uh, need to be bigger. <laughs> when they went back to, to release the Mini again, they should have gone to the, the Mini enthusiasts, the guys who actually have the real Minis, and yeah, said, yeah. What's, why do you love it so much? Yeah. yeah. And, and then take that to the designers. But, uh, but too and, many companies yeah. listen to their customers when they shouldn't and go, no, no, no. The reason they're our customers is yeah. because we know what we're doing. You're the pro. Yeah, yeah. we can't You're let them the drive this ship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's interesting. So what is, from those Paneristi lunatics. What is the most requested thing that you guys aren't doing? <laughs> what are they? What do people keep asking for? Don't don't kill the brand. Don't change too many stuff. Um, uh, you know, when I try to summarize my job in Panerai is change everything as long as you don't change anything. Uh -huh. You know, that's yeah. more or less my mission, which is when you wake up in the morning, not an easy, uh, yeah. an yeah. easy stuff. And if you hear the Panerai, they have in mind uh, like a religion. And you don't change that. Yeah. And uh, so how you can animate a brand, bringing some new ideas, new initiatives, like experience, you know, next, mm. next SIHH, uh, and I've shown that to some of the panelists here recently in Hong Kong, is um, I intend to have as Panerai also a brand with experiences. Mm. Because we're a brand which stands for sports, for adventures, um, and in the, we will have three limited editions shown at the next SIHH, which will be associated to an experience. It's not yet on pictures. Okay. Or perhaps you have the Guillaume Neri. If you clip the Guillaume yeah, Neri, if you have the Guillaume Neri, uh, 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 which has been shown recently, or has been, uh, I've seen it this morning on our internet site. It's this that. one, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one. Uh, yes. Okay. So this one is the, this let's is say. split seconds, right? Exactly. So this is a, um, a, a submersible, because all the highlight of the next SIHH will be to support that line. Mm. It's a very sportive model. And we'll have another edition, which is not pictured here, which will be only limited to 19 pieces. And the 19 customers will not get their watch in one of our stores in the world. We'll be invited in Tahiti, oh, yeah. where Guillaume Neri has his home. And we'll spend three days with Guillaume to dive, and we'll get supply their watch during their stay in Tahiti. Uh, forgive me, who is Guillaume Neri? So Guillaume Neri is a world uh, champion in free diving. Oh, cool. Okay. Those guys are nuts. Uh, they are. They're completely yeah. out of their minds. They, where they hold on to the sled and go down like 800 yeah. feet. And yeah, then, exactly. Like, inflate the balloon to rock uh, it back up that's exactly what he's doing these people he's able are not to breathe for eight minutes what wow. and and since we are associated to the world of sea and on on adventure and you name it guillaume is 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 one of these guys oh, uh, which he is and he's a great speaker by the way wait, he, here's he, the well, i want to find the the thing where he's on the sled oh yeah where they're the assisted, on the uh, the assisted dive Oh, does he do full free dive or does he go down on the thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing that. He's doing that. And he's oh, okay. training in Nice in France as well as in Tahiti where he's spending half of his life. And he is one of our ambassadors. And, and we can test with him. Oh. Uh, uh, we can test with him our, our watches. Eight minutes? Eight minutes without breathing. When he's going to his world record, which is 126 wow. meters, so I don't know how much it is in feet. You have to divide 126 by meters? It's, it's like, it's like 400, yeah. 400, 400, 400 yes. feet? Yes. Yeah. Eight minutes without breathing. <laughs> and um, and uh, he has a watch with him. And, and we believe a lot in all the ambassadors. You know, all these people like like Stallone, which yeah. is a, a different celebrity, of course, but really? who are big fan, big fan of our brand. Yeah. Okay. Big fan of our brand. So Guillaume was a fan of our brand before mm -hmm. becoming an ambassador, um, and uh, uh, so that limited edition will show a different one than the one you have on the yeah, screen. Yeah. But same principle, same model. Um, will be you'll be associated to a, a, an experience in Tahiti. That's and we'll do cool. three of them like that uh, at the coming SIHH. Uh, we will have only about seventy units next year. One will be also associated to the Italian commandos. Okay. Because the brand has been developed in the, in the past 
for the Italian Navy Commando. Right. Okay? So you will be entitled for one of the edition to train one day with the Italian Commando. That's pretty In La cool. Spezia like in Italy. That. I think there needs to be a car racing one too. We have, can we get some <laughs> car racing ones going on? Right. Uh, well, we are in the world of sea, so car racing for us is the America's Cup. Um, yeah. It happens to be Formula One, which is, uh, which is uh, floating. And uh, this it's is amazing our world. what they've done with that, with the Cup in the last few years. I mean, it went to a went from fairly old school you know big yacht racing to this super display of yeah, yeah. Of and it's technology. a great source great source of inspiration for us and that's why this type of partnership mm. brings a lot of uh, added value and they also are coming They're the team of uh, Luna Rosa are coming to our uh, manufacturer to see what we are doing to, yeah. to fight against weight yeah. and to work on precision as well as we have our engineers coming to Italy to, to see them and for anyone at home who's never watched sailing before, the video coverage has never been better. They're doing all these really cool graphics and overlays exactly. for the TV coverage for the Cup. It's rad. Especially it, for the America's Cup. Where is it going to be next year? Is it San uh, Francisco so it will again? be in 2021, and it will be New Zealand. Oh, awesome. New Zealand. New Zealand and, is the and, best. Uh, oh, yeah. It's a great You've spot. You've been? Uh, yes, I've it's been. It's one of the most beautiful places in the yes, world, if exactly. not the most beautiful place yeah, in the world. Yeah, it is. It is. And, and Luna also is training in Sardinia, in Thaus, uh, I mean, uh, uh, one of the islands in Italy. How cool. What about cars? What is what? Give me your give me your give me your your dream garage three cars. Uh, Lamborghini Aventador. Okay. Um, one vintage, which would be a Ferrari uh, GTO, and what else? A man of what? value. <laughs> <laughs> the price price. I'm sure we have shopper. an American a, a, a Ford a Ford Mustang with a okay. vintage. Okay. Oh, that would be my my three cars convertible. That's, that's when they pander to the American in the room. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, all right. I like that. It's a good, well-rounded garage. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for stopping by, Jean Marc. We appreciate it. Has been a pleasure. Okay, yeah. Has I, been a I'm, pleasure. I'm a fan of the watches, especially the 1950 sandwich style. That's my that's my jam. Okay. Uh, did we miss any of the ones that you brought to look uh, at? We didn't show this one here. This beautiful titanium guy. Yes, no, titanium or the or the, the, or the white one. dial. Yeah, yeah, it's a white dial. We, white dial. Whenever I fun. see the white dials, I always think of the Slytek. Always. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the original. It's true. Right? It's true. It's true. It's true. Um, we we are we are doing a couple of white dials, despite black dial is really where the Panerai stands for. Yeah. So white dial is good for summer. I like yeah, a white dial with a rubber strap. And the rubber. white dial goes with Works. any color strap. Yeah. So. Rubber is very hot. We have a lot of variations of straps which can go with your blue dial watch. And this is all the variety you can discover mm. in some of our stores in Rodeo and, and South Coast Plaza here in, in L.A. Oh, last thing, you know, back just to the, before we get out of here. I, have you, I've noticed that Panerai is really committed to manual wind. To A lot of their yeah. watches not. On, and, and yet... Uh, I, f I mean, I find it pretty cool, but do you find the customer is into that or the customer is angling more towards it automatic? Be, it, when you're in the mechanical watches, having a, a couple of manual is good, mm -hmm. but, but of course the mechanical is a much bigger, m much bigger market share. Yeah. Um, but we see a couple of people who are still interested to rewind their watch each morning or each three days. You mean you the know? automatic's a bigger market share? Yeah, market, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Manual. Oh, no, 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 the automatic is a much bigger market share. Yeah. But you still have a couple of people who love to have this, this gesture, you know, yeah. to, to be in contact. Well, with and their. as far as uh, Panerai goes, historically, was manual right, wind. Right, of course. I mean, the, the development of the crown was for having a yes. very water-resistant manual wind watch well, I liked, instead of I a screw-down Well, I like that on crown. that crown, you can keep the thing yeah. locked and still exactly. wind it. You don't have yes. to unlock it. To and when it. you have time difference, for you guys in the U.S., which have uh, at least four time difference? Four? Three, we have three in the U.S. Uh, three, three uh, in the U.S. Three. No, we have more. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, Hawaii. Hawaii and Alaska. Ah, Alaska. yes, Hawaii. exactly. Right. Yeah. 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 Don't forget you. that. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. get some Anchorage. On Anchorage, is it the same? <laughs> Fine. Alaska and Hawaii. <laughs> Sorry, all three of you from Alaska and Hawaii. Listen to this show. Yeah. So you can change very easily the, 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 the hours without changing the minutes. Oh, yeah, so so quick, when you arrive somewhere, you just have hour. a couple of clicks to do to change your time. Can I try the crazy mm. one on real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so light. It's a titanium case, right? Titanium DLMC. So the, 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 the process himself allows you to have a lighter watch. So the material on one side plus the... That is you see? rad. You see? What did you say? 150000 Yeah. It's value price. Yes, yes, I'd have, yes. To, I'd have to trade you the car. <laughs> Man, this probably is more reliable, though. That's, that is so cool. Wow. Jean-Marc Pontrouet. Thank yes. you very much, sir. Thank CEO you so much. Panerai. Has been my pleasure. It has been our pleasure. Thank you for joining us. And uh, Cameron, let's go. On with it. I know. Let's this, get this, this baby needs to let's arrive. Let's get this baby out and get you back to work <laughs> making watches. Uh, yes. Thank you to all of you who bought uh, Cameron's watches on Black Friday. 
by yeah. that, that diaper fund. And uh, what, the new one is out today, right? Yeah, yeah, the new uh, Rover Gauge Watch. Lastly, the new Rover Gauge Watch with the pointed hands and this beautiful black seconds hand. I'm a fan. We got to maybe if we Richemont buy out, we could talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, once yeah. We're, once we're off the show. Oh, I didn't even. My mouse is sticking. I'm sorry. I, it's, I a hope 30, it's a 42 millimeter, huh? Uh, this 40, one's a 42 millimeter. 40, 42, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's great size. Great it's size. A, it's a beautiful watch. Yeah, I wear my wife's watch, watch all the time. I love it. Well, that's the show. Uh, thank you very much, folks. Thank you, Jean Marc. Thank for the you pleasure. so much. We will see you all later. Bye. Bye.